Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob. It's time for another product overview, review, and install. So right behind me is a third generation Tacoma. As you can see, it does have the TRD off-road grill because it is a TRD off-road model. However, some people aren't a big fan of this grill and they want to switch it out. So for that, I went to Yodaverse. So Yodaverse does have a wide variety of Tacoma products and they actually sent me the TRD Pro style grill that we will be installing on this Tacoma. As you can see, I also do have the gray lettering as well. So if you do like what Yodaverse does have, I do want to let you guys know, because once again, they have a wide variety of parts and not just for Tacomas, also 4Runners and other Toyotas. So go ahead and check them out. And if you like anything you see, I do of course have a discount code guys, right? Rob's Autos for a discount, okay? So use the coupon code Rob's Autos for discount on Yodaverse.com. And I think you'll find that they have a lot of great stuff. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what comes in the box when you order from Yodaverse, the TRD Pro style grill. All right, you guys, so as far as TRD Pro style grills go, this one from Yodaverse looks really good, guys. I really like the way it looks. Really good finish. Definitely looks a lot better than a certain other company I worked with before. You know, still seeing if I'm gonna do that video. You know, definitely looks really good. I do like, uh, you know, the coloring of it. It's a nice, um, you know, matte black. We did also go with the gray OEM-like. Toyota silver lettering, really nice. Has a nice shine to it, but also has a nice kind of gunmetal look. It definitely looks good. Let me get, get a little bit shiny right there. Get a bit of a gloss coming off it, looks great. So if you guys didn't know, if you have the TSS sensor, you're gonna need this garnish also that they provide. You do choose on their website if you need it or not. Now on the stock off-road, the garnish is actually behind the big old Toyota emblem right in the middle of the grill. So we're gonna be relocating it. It's gonna be behind here, down here. So let me lift this up. You see this right here? Now let me hit it from under. You see how this right here, how it jiggles around? We're gonna take that off. And then this is gonna go right there. And then just as a little bonus, I'm still deciding if we're gonna install it or not, but I will show you guys how to install the Raptor lights. If I don't show it, show it, I'm gonna show you guys what fuse to use because they do give you the whole kit as well. So as you can see, this is your basic fuse plug and play. It's gonna be a nice easy install, guys. Can't wait to get to it. It really changes the look at the Tacomas, as you can see from mine, from when I went from the off-road to a pro grill. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, you guys, so first things first, I do have my 10 mil and my pry tool. So we are gonna first remove this whole area. Really easy, guys, so just come over here and you'll see, you just have to first take off, you have right here, we have one right here, guys. Just unscrew that. Nice and easy. So just one, second one right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the pry tool over here. So let's come in, so right here. So pop off the tabs, it's one tab. And then there is another one on this side. All right, and then for the last part, you see right here, so we have this wiring that we're gonna to have to loosen up. So just go ahead and you can, Sometimes you can do it just with your hands. Let me just use the pry tool right here. Or sometimes you might just need to use pliers, but I did not. So let's just go ahead and push that through. And then there's a white one on this side as well, on the other side. So this is to hold the harness. So let me just, there we go. So now that that's right, now we're gonna actually pull it off. All right, so before we do pull this off, let's also make sure to undo this part right here. So just use your pliers. And remember guys, this is a TSS sensor, so don't be too rough with it, guys. So just carefully take it out. And now that that's out, now we will actually get to pull this out. All right, you guys, so now that we went ahead and took off those screws, now just pull it off, guys. If this is the first time you've taken off this assembly, it might be a little bit tight. So just go on each side and just pry at it a little bit. And that's one side, and that's the second side then just remove it. So as you can see right here on the back, 
You can see the TSS sensor right there in the middle. So that is what we will be having to relocate while we are installing the Yodaverse TRD Pro style grill. All right, you guys, so before we can get any farther, we do have to remove the stock grill, of course, which is a bit of a pain. Now, first, we will be removing these screws. So you see how you will see these screws all along the outside. So they do encircle it. So first we will remove all these screws and then we'll get back to the second part. All right, you guys, so this is the only real pain for removing this grill. So we took off all the screws around, but you see these little tabs right here. So here, I'll let this one pop in a little bit. So these tabs are all around it on the both on the top and bottom. You're gonna need to compress all these tabs at pretty much the same time to get it off. I do recommend, uh, you know, maybe having a few extra little screwdrivers or something, something to wedge it in to hold them because I did a serious back and forth game where I'd loosen up one side, you know, I'd have all the tabs through, the near side to retighten up, then I'd take off those sides and these tabs would come back down. So you do just need to really work at it to get all of these tabs to go through so that you can remove the grill just like this. And now that the grill is off, now I will be removing the TSS sensor. So I will show you guys how to do that process. All right, you guys, so first things first, we are gonna remove this sensor. So we do want to first put some of these rags here. This is just to make sure to grill, one, it doesn't damage anything, and two, so it doesn't pop back in, because that was a pain. First, we're gonna go ahead and let's remove the sensor harness, so then we have some more room to work. Now that's gone, go ahead and take off the sensor itself. Do be careful with the sensor, you guys. Remember, you guys do need this, or else you will have a very annoying warning message. One and two. Take off these screws down here. So you see this silver screw? Look at that, now that's removed. Let's also remember we will be removing, see this little silver disc down here. Let's take that out too. Just have to fidget with it a little bit to get it out. See one. And two. Because we will be reusing those and we do install it. Now we do also want to remove the harness here. So you have two choices. Either one, just snip it off and just let the wire be loose. That won't hurt anything or two. From underneath, you can actually feel the clip to undo this. So you could either finagle it underneath, you know, just using a plier tool, or just go ahead and take off the front Toyota logo and just go at it that way. So the choice. All right guys, so before we get to TSS, I am right now installing the Toyota lettering. So as you can see, you just reused the old screws from when we were removing the OEM grill. So four corners, so just put the screws in there after you slip it in. All right, you guys, so first off, remember I told you to save these little silver pieces from when we took them off of the OEM grill. So we're gonna be reusing them. So look at that, slide in right here. Set it in there properly. So as you can see, I already have that side. So now we're gonna put the actual center on top. I like to do the silver screw on top first. Remember, we are reusing the hardware. So I'm gonna screw that one in there. I'm not gonna tighten it up completely just yet. So now let me go ahead and get these screws in. Do the two black ones, one on each side, of course. So really, really light tighten. I'm not going too crazy with them just yet. Just gonna make sure everything is in there right. All right, so it looks good. So a bit of a hand tighten. Don't want to go too hard, guys. You do not want to break this thing, believe me. All right, so now that's in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the garnish. So this is what will be covering the sensor now. Remember on the off-road OEM grill, it was the big old emblem. Now it's gonna be this, take off the plastic at the end. 
So we'll just go ahead and put that in from under. And look at that. So we got the tabs going in. So these two bottom tabs are in. So now we got to secure the top. So Yodaverse actually does include these. So these are what you use to tighten it in. So let me go ahead and push this in. Make sure that's all good and in there properly. And then just put it over. And this is going to sound really, really funky, guys, but literally just push it down. And the whole idea is that this is, it's a little bit, in my opinion, a tiny bit archaic, um, but it's just a really basic way to hold it. But don't think this is just an aftermarket thing. The OEM stuff is held on the same way too. All right, you guys, so now we have everything together. TSS is on, grill is put together. Now just for the final part, that's just re uh, reinstalling this. So just line up everything. Just make sure all these are in so you don't snap anything. All right, everything's looking good. So now to apply. A little bit of pressure all around, slowly but surely. There we go. Nice and satisfying. So one last little spot right here. And there we go. That's all together. So now, remember guys, is reconnect the TSS right here. A little bit of a tight fit, but it's not super tight. There's still enough slack. So now, remember I had told you how you have this wire holder. So I would recommend doing, you could move the wire around a little bit and then you could reuse the um, plug-in holder right here if you wanted to it's really your call we're just going to leave it as is because that honestly poses no problems and then after that you see these we still have some empty screw holes so now we're going to re-put in some of the oem screws in some of these spots and you know then we'll be able to actually reattach it to the coma we'll see how it's looking all right you guys now for the final step that's putting it all back together so Really easy guys, so just line up everything just right. One side, two side. Everything's looking good. Push it together. So now let me just go ahead and actually first I'll reinstall the sensor. So let's take this back over here. Plug this back in. Let's put those back into their spots real quick. Now we're going to go ahead and screw everything back. All right, so let me get out everything. So remember, one of these push tabs on both sides. So we have that one. And we also have the one on the other side. I'll just put that in right now. Ratchet. too tight because you don't want to end up stripping anything. All right, so everything's in. It's nice and secure. So now for the final step, guys. That is the always, always wonderful unpeeling of the plastic, guys. So check that out and bam guys, this looks really good. Look at that guys, a big improvement over the off-road grill. I think that this looks phenomenal guys. You know, just uh, looks real good. So now let's go ahead and we'll go to my closing comments. 
All right guys, so I'm not gonna be installing the grill lights, but I should still tell you guys how to do it. So the way this kit works is you have the one ground wire, which you will just attach to any of these nice little grounding points. I usually share it to, uh, actually last time I actually grounded it to this nut as well, so they were both sharing. And then for this fuse, I would go under and I would usually use the ignition fuse. I will put up right now on the screen, which is the ignition fuse to piggyback off of, but that's all you have to do. And then anytime your Tacoma is on, the lights will be on. And then the other end, it's just the plugs that go into the actual lights themselves. Really easy, guys. So yeah, we'll get back to the install. All right, you guys, so check this out. This was the off-road grill. Now we have the much better pro-style grill. Do you remember to also, guys, Toyota does also provide this with the Trail Edition. If you want this grill OEM, they actually call it the Heritage Grill now. Definitely looks a lot better, in my opinion, than the OEM grill, but that's all a matter of taste. You know, Yodaverse, once again, they do have a lot of great products, not just for Tacomas, but for other Toyotas as well. So go ahead and check them out, guys. And remember, if you guys want to buy anything from Yodaverse, use the discount code Rob's Autos for a discount, all right? So that's Rob's Autos for a discount. You no, know, I do all these product reviews. I always like getting guys codes. I always like getting guys discounts. So make sure to use that coupon code, guys, to make sure to get a good discount. And with that, guys, we'll call it there. This is Rob, and have a good one.